I don't put as much stock in the word captain as I do leader. And I think leadership gets confused here at the high school, at the high school level in general, at the college level. Here's what I think, and I might be way wrong. The way I see us focusing on leadership is a lot of people think that leaders are the people that say, all right, we're gonna wear pajamas on Friday or dress up on Friday for the game. You guys are gonna get the water bottles. Make sure you clean up the equipment when everything's done. Make sure you don't party on the weekends. Now, is that part of leadership? Sure, that's a piece of it. But here's what I would like to see us leave with today. Leadership is having courage, having humility, all right, uh, to stand up for things, obviously, that you believe in, that the, that the team believes in, like what your core values are, but also in the heat of the battle. Like if you're playing a sport, like if you're playing football, all right, and the running back is not blocking because they just want the ball, who is saying something to that running back? If you're playing basketball, and a player is selfish, who's saying something to that player in practice in the game? I might be way wrong, but I don't see those conversations happening. <laughs> I don't see them happening. And I would love to see them happen. I did not have those conversations as a high school player either. I just didn't have them, I didn't have the courage. Because it all goes back to this comfort zone, right? What you're comfortable doing, what you're comfortable saying, and what you're comfortable allowing to happen in the fabric of your team. Like you see things happening that are at the detriment of your team. You see things that are happening that are selfish. You see things that are happening that um, aren't gonna help you win a championship, but we stand back and we don't say anything.